So this is one of the most common problems when people are learning to snatch. People can somewhat grasp the start position and so they can power snatch decently well. However, when it comes to dropping underneath the bar, they are worse than if they were to just catch power. I've made two other videos on how to catch lower and faster, so please check those out. But on this video, you will see how I live coach a lifter into fixing this mistake. Usually if someone can't get low, but they're capable of doing so in the squats, they aren't pulling through the contact position. And this video just demonstrates how I attack this problem head on when I'm coaching. What you'll notice is that even though the lifter in the video can get lower after the progression, he develops a jump forward, which obviously is not good. And this is really the beauty of coaching. When you fix one problem, another problem arises. So the best thing to do as a coach is to constantly be watching for these problems and to have a progression and a regression to fix them. Then you have your lifter consistently practice these progressions to the point where they can be autonomous. When the lifter is autonomous in fixing these mistakes, then you become more of a manager or someone to push them. The good news is the lifter in this video has actually been fixing his jump forward by himself. And uh, he sent me this video where you can see the jump forward is much less. It's still there. It still needs to be worked on. If you're interested in my progression to fix the jump forward or how I would live coach that, let me know in the comments section. Anyway, here's my progression to help you catch lower. So first things first, I'm just gonna have Mark pick up the bar. Okay, in this position, all I'm gonna have Mark do is pick his chin up a little bit, keep his eyes directed forward, maybe slightly up. All he's gonna do is pull his elbows high, keep the bar close, and just do a muscle snatch from that high hang position. Good, maybe a little bit more speed here. Elbows only doing this, good. So he's not using his hips to, to get that bar up high. One more. So the next thing he's gonna do is the same drill, right? He's got the bar in his hands. He's going to try to drop at the same time. And typically, people are going to start to use the hips and we wanna stay away from that. So keeping the bar in the hands and dropping in. Go ahead, Mark. Good, so that one, he kinda of used the hips a little bit. Wanna go back, so start, um, just lift the bar overhead, just muscle snatch, don't get low yet, there we go. Same thing now, just drop as you do that. Better. Good, one more, nice and easy. There we go. Good, it's okay to slow down in that initial phase. Okay, after that, now we have to start moving our feet. So always start tall, always start with the arms, and drop and catch. Drop and catch. Arms first. Good. Get up tall here. There we go. Arms first, elbows high. Really, really good. Good, relax. Okay, now we have to start getting the hips involved without losing control over the bar. It's gonna look like this. Now he's gonna keep the bar pinned to the hips. Slight heave, up, catch. Heave, get the bar in the hands, drop. Good, one more. Perfect, good, relax. Okay, so now we have to start to add in contact. So what we can do is kind of like that Tarakti contact drill where it takes the bar, contact, right? Goes up, okay? We can take that contact and do the exact same drill we did before. Contact, float, drop. And we can start to speed it up a little bit. Contact, float, drop. Stay up tall, good. Okay, now I want you to stay up tall, muscle snatch, drop. Good, okay. Now I want you to heave, muscle snatch, drop. Good, now I want you to just do a little bit of contact, get the bar in the hands, drop. Just a little bit of contact. There we go. Okay, relax. Now we're starting to see the, the turnover work. Everything is starting to work on the second half of the lift. And what you'll notice is Mark's bottom position is vastly better. 
right? We had that contact and we went into the next rep. The next step is basically taking that contact drill and just going below the knees with it. So keep the ch chest up, head up, below the knees. This is where we can start to lose the feeling of the bar in the hands because there's a lot of different moving pieces. Okay, so first one, muscle snatch. Good, now muscle snatch and drop, move your feet. Good, now I want you to contact, right? Muscle snatch and drop. Good, let's try to smooth that one over a little bit. Good, okay, now below the knees. Go ahead. Good. From here, nothing really changes, except when he goes below the knees, he's just gonna tap the floor with the plates. So everything remains the same. What I want him to focus on is still controlling through that now first pull and focusing on getting the weight in the hands and keeping it in the hands as he turns over. All right, we have our contact, right? Now we want to touch and go. One contact and drop, one touch and go and drop. A little bit of a forward hop there. Do that again. Up. Better. There it is. Good. Touch and go here. Look at that depth. Okay? Relax. If we're going to compare, I'm going to do a little editing and side by side of the first video and the second video. Now he's hitting depth, but not because we did a bunch of drills to help him loosen up his hips to get lower. All right, we did a bunch of drills to, fi to fix the actual issue, which is holding the bar and keeping contact or, or keeping tension with the bar. Okay, now it's easier said than done to go from the hang position or, or the touch and go to actually just picking up a dead bar on the floor. This is one of my biggest challenges I face as a coach. If I tell Mark to grab the bar, he grabs it, tell him to straighten out his back, boom, everything wants to go back. How do I fix that problem? All I would say is think about that Michael Jackson lean where he leans forward like this, right? That's the type of pressure that you wanna have before pulling. It's not just pressure in the toes. It's actually going to equal out to flat pressure. This is a cue of intent. So if anyone hears me and says, oh, he's telling people to pull from their toes, he's crazy. This is an intent thing. So what I wanna do is have the lifter put more pressure forward. Remember that Michael Jackson lean. I'm gonna grab that bar, keeping that pressure forward. Now when I straighten out my back, I'm not pulling it in here and I'm not going back here. I'm gonna straighten out my back and stay over. Now I'm looking up, shoulders are over the bar. I'm gonna pull, pop, and snap right into position. Right now, what you can do is, when you start to come in, think about driving through the floor with the quads and then finishing up high. Right now that bar is starting to loop out off the hips. This is a tough process. Like I'm not gonna fix every issue that he has today. Right now we have the bar looping out front at extension. But one thing that he's doing is getting down into the bottom of a squat. He's actually getting low rather than catching high and kind of crumbling, okay? And that's good, we, we have a victory, but there's certain things that he has to fix. To fix the looping bar, Okay, all I would do is take a few steps back and we can also do other drills. We can do no foot movement. We can do all these different things, but those are different videos. Okay, that's all I've got. Thank you for watching.